So here's a slightly different way of looking at the impact on the producer surplus. And this is going to really look focus on the cost of getting it from foreigners instead of the domestic producers. So again, this is a small country where the world supply is such that the world will supply as much of this as you want at a price of $110. If the price goes up to $110 as a consequence of the tariff, there's a tariff of $10, then we were going to see an increase in domestic production, as we saw a few moments ago. And again, this is the increase in producer surplus. But now I want to focus on the cost, and in particular the opportunity cost, of this increased domestic production. Now, increased domestic production from Q1 to Q3 costs cost of increased domestic production is B plus F. It's the area under the supply curve. That is the increase in total variable cost associated with going from Q1 to Q3. Now, this isn't focused on the producer surplus side. This is looking at the, at the uh, underlying effects. To get this same amount of product from foreigners under free trade would have cost only F. That is to say, the quantity multiply times the world price. So the price or the cost of foreign production and certainly the cost of buying it from foreigners is equal to F. F is how much you could have gotten it from foreigners. B plus F is what it cost to get it from <clears throat> the domestic source instead. So B is that dead weight loss that we've talked about before. That is the increased cost of getting this product from a domestic source instead of a foreign source. That's the cost of inefficient domestic production. Now, that comes as a consequence of having higher producer surplus, higher employment, that's all good, but it does come at a cost, and this is one of the principal measures of it. The cost of getting it from a domestic source is higher than the foreign source. And if you think about it, if it didn't cost more to get it from domestic producers, you wouldn't have been importing that amount from foreigners in the first place. The reason that you imported Q1 to Q3 is because domestic, the domestic producers could only do it at a higher price. So here's one interpretation of the deadweight loss, the, in, the production inefficiency side of a tariff.